Hey guys, it's Randy here at eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at a storage basket designed for use on utility trailers. This gives us a 250 pound capacity. A lot of times with utility trailers, we're gonna have certain items that we wanna keep on the trailer, we wanna keep it out of our vehicle, but we also don't want it rolling around or we don't want it blowing away. Basically, this basket's gonna come in two varieties. The one we've got right here now is just the basket. We also have the same thing with the lid. We'll show you that in just a little while. Basically, you'll have a lid. It's a double-sided lid, so you can access one side or the other. It's gonna have locks on it, so you can either use this as a storage containment area or also as a security area. A lot of times, you'll get out on a job site or you'll get out Say so you're going to go ride in four wheelers and you don't want your gas cans and your battery charges and stuff like that just to be left unattended. Don't necessarily want to throw them in your vehicle because then it's going to stink. In this case, we could just lock that lid and know that we're going to have a reasonable amount of security against anybody getting in there and taking those things. I also like the idea that we've got here. This is a battery. A lot of times you're going to store a battery on your utility trailer. This one has a power jack. You wanna run that jack off of a battery. You don't necessarily always want your vehicle to be hooked up. This is an excellent way to keep it safe. We can store it in here, mount it right down to the bottom. We have never have to worry about anybody messing with it or tampering with it. I also think this would be really nice for your construction kind of trailer, construction type utility trailer. So here we've got our generator, we've got our fuel, we could put a couple tools, our extension cords over there, but we still have room here in the bottom to access and utilize our trailer. So we could haul all the lumber and plywood on there that we wanted and this really wouldn't interfere. From the top of the surface that you're gonna mount it to, to the bottom of your metal here, you're gonna be looking at about six and a half inches. So you can see over here where the receiver tube was. Cleared that without any kind of issue. So overall I think it's gonna give you a lot of storage space. It's gonna be an easy solution but you're not going to lose the utilization of your bed or your ability to use the, the trailer itself for what it's intended for. Now all of our Rackham products are extremely popular, especially with construction, landscaping, and like we talked about, the kind of the off-road enthusiasts. Um, they always mention how strong and how durable the finish is. It has like a hand-hammered finish to it. So if you do happen to beat it up a little bit, it's not gonna just be glaringly obvious, but also with just regular use, if you're not gonna be hitting it with a hammer or anything like that, you really shouldn't have to worry about that finish coming off. It should give you years of great service and you really won't have to worry about the rust and corrosion. The cargo basket's also gonna offer us a wide range of applications. So from your rails here, we're going anywhere from 72 inches all the way up to 84 inches. And that's basically because we have this nice bracket that's gonna come along with it. We're gonna have four of these, one of them for each corner. Now that bracket's designed to line up with that attachment hole. Just like that, so we can bolt the two of those together. And then whether we have it in this position, this is gonna be for our narrower trailers. See our attachment point would be there. This trailer happens to be about 80 and a quarter inches wide. So if it's a little bit narrower, we can use that for our attachment anywhere along there. And then the opposite, if it's a little bit wider than this one. Bolt that together, and then this will take up that span to where the rail of our trailer could sit right underneath here and bolt it down accordingly. So essentially to pick up the benefit that we get out of this basket, it's only gonna require us to drill four holes in the upper rail of our trailer here. I don't find that's a big deal for as convenient as what this is. One thing to keep in mind though, you will be providing your own hardware for the attachment. All of the hardware they use on the basket itself is stainless steel. I think it'd be a good idea to stay with that, just so you don't have rust issues down here on those bolts rusting over time. But you just basically need four of them if you're in this 80 and three quarter, or you'll need four to fit through your mounting point and then four for your bracket if you need it a little bit wider, a little bit narrower than this. And anywhere you drill a hole in your trailer, treat that with a little rust preventative spray paint so you don't have rusting there. And I think it's gonna be a very good solution, get you a lot of stuff out there to the job site. And you'll see in just a minute, we throw the lid on here. 
how you can get that locked up. Something else I really like about the basket and goes along with that really high quality and longevity of it, you can see each of the areas here where the expanded steel has met, we've got a weld. That's going to give us superior durability. You can see there's a little bit of in and out flex on this, but not near as much as what you see out of cargo carriers made in the same way that don't quite have that attention to detail and getting those welds just right. Now here's what it looks like with the lid option installed. This takes everything we get out of that basket, all those same features, and it's just going to up the security factor. At this point, you could pair this with a couple of key to like padlocks, which we do have available on our website. So using one key to open both of the lids. When I say both, you can see we've got kind of split access here. We can get into this half if we want, get things in or out of here we might need, go over to the other side. I like that split aspect, it's gonna save some of the weight. As you're trying to open that up, you don't have to open up the whole thing. Maybe you've got some stuff over there that might blow out. You don't necessarily want to open it, but you got to get to something over here, like it's our e-trailer four-pack of ratchet straps. We want to get those out and secure something down. So it makes it just a little bit easier. Overall, guys, I think this is going to be a really good solution. Whether you go with just the basket portion or you're going to go with the lid portion, it's going to really depend on your needs. If I were putting like that generator down there, if I were going to leave my campsite or leave my job site, I wouldn't want that generator sitting out, so I'd have it locked. If you have things in there, just random things you don't care about too much, maybe go without the lid version just to give you a little bit more capacity. But I think it could solve a lot of problems. We're often looking for extra space, so you'll see those little aluminum boxes that people will put here on the front of the trailer, or in this case, the two ammo cans here that the guys welded onto it just to ensure he had a little bit of room for some of the stuff he wants. I think this kind of knocks all of those things out of the water with the amount of space we're going to get out of it. It'd be a really good addition. And two people walking by as we've been doing this demo said it looked really cool. So it's got that going for it too.